Well, I got the engine and trans out of the power boat today. It's in the back of my truck here. It's now like one o'clock, one and thirty in the afternoon. <coughs> I got um, a couple of through hole fittings. I know I'm gonna have to replace some, so I've got some reasonably good second end ones. What I also got, which I'm pleased about, come over this side and um, underneath this strap here. Da, da, da. I've got another water pump. It's a bit dusty, but it's in good condition. It's another Jabsco. This one's a 50 psi automatic water pump, just connected direct to power and it's ready to rock and roll. This one's 50 psi, so I'm thinking that would be good for the uh, afterbirth shower and sink because there's a bit more power there, so we can, you know, it'll pump out more water if you want it. Also, picked up a, another pump, it's just sadder condition. But if it works, I can clean it up. I can replace this base here and this corrosion here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have a look at it. When you get something for nothing, you have to check it out, right? So that's, yeah, just having a bit of a play with this stuff here. And um, <clears throat> this engine was a runner in the boat when it, when the boat um, came on out of the water and then the boat was scrapped. So this engine, I'm going to put it on Facebook, I think. Make some quick cash. We'll see what happens. Um, it's black. It's a 350 Chev. It's a marine engine. It's got the transmission still on the back. Coolant came out when we cut the hose uh, to remove it from the boat. Uh, the transmission is a bit greasy and such down here, so I know there's, and that, yeah, the fluids and such in it are all good. Um, I don't want to get dirty again, I just finished cleaning. Um, yeah, there's, there's really not much to show you. There's a little bit of corrosion on the alternator here. Probably put another alternator on it. Um, but other than that, I think it's probably throw a battery on it kick it see what happens I'm just not sure how you connect up the power to a um, a Chevy 350 Chevy uh, electronic system um, somebody who's into Chevy's could tell me but uh, I'm not the person for that so anyway that's the motor um, I think that's all about it for now I'll probably make another video later uh, talk to you soon. Five o'clock in the afternoon. I've been working on the refrigeration side of this boat, getting this these refrigeration plates out. They must weigh about 40 pounds each. And then I got the, that refrigeration stuff out as well. Um, I picked up some more seacocks for this boat as well why, this afternoon. They're in the back of the truck. Um, I've just been doing a little bit of basic cleaning. That's about all I've got to add to the video from before. Just a little update. I'm going over to the fellow's place that does a refrigeration. He's going to do a printout for me. Or the parts that I need. So I can turn this fridge freezer into a modern system. That, um, that can be used. Um, you know from new. Having this new would be a good idea I think. Um, trying to keep an old system working that's 40 years old. I don't consider that to be uh, the wisest move. So that's going to be new. The hot water tank is still under the deck here uh, underneath the floorboards. I haven't pulled that out yet. I'm going to put a new hot water tank in. I will make a video of that coming out. Um, that wasn't today. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Um, I'm going to start cleaning up, closing up. The storm clouds are closing in over there. So we're expecting thunderstorms this afternoon. So I don't want to be driving home in the hail again. So I need to get going soon. 
Oh, and the microwave works. I've already used it today for lunch. So that was cool. Alrighty, that's it for now. Bye.